Hello, my beautiful witches of Blessed Be. This is why you're even over here. Today is Monday. So happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. Hi, witches. So welcome. Thank you for being here again on Monday. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate that you're here with me today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Y Raven and I am here to teach you witchcraft. What it is to be a witch from my perspective. I am eclectic. I'm going to be sharing with you things that I learned, book reviews, and a whole lot of curses. Because, yeah, I think I am a vigilante. <laughs> I'm a witch vigilante, that's what I am. I love to share curses with my underdogs. I love to share things to help you protect yourself, to help you defend yourself, to help you take charge and empower you. Because, witch, you have what it takes to do magic. You don't need to be born special. You don't need to be born from a line of witches. You just need to be a human wanting to do some research and dedicate some of your time to witchcraft. As a matter of fact, a lot of time. I'm here for you, witches. If this is something that interests you, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and stick around and become a member of my beautiful coven. Hey guys, I gotta tell you something. I have two questions that I'm gonna answer today. There have been questions asked in some of the comments on the video, I think, and maybe some in my messenger, one or the other. There's gonna be two questions. Uh, number one, one of you guys asked me about synthetic oils that I recommend. And another question, what do you do when your husband does not believe in witchcraft, is against witchcraft, and definitely you're not gonna divorce him? What do you do? Those are questions that I'm going to address today. I'm going to put right here, right now, the timestamp of the video when this spell is going to start. You should stick around and listen to the answers to the questions and what I have to say. But if you have no patience and you just want to see where the video starts, this is where the spell starts. Right here. I hope you like it. Which is, thank you so much for being so badass. Kicking out some of the scammers that are wiggling themselves in the YouTube channel, in the Facebook page. They are such a pest. Oh my God, they are so annoying. Listen, scammers are just a product of our society, a product of our advancement. The internet, social media, we're just gonna have to live a life with scammers everywhere. I am very excited that what I see now that even if we get scammers wiggling themselves in the comments, you guys know how to handle it. And as a matter of fact, some of the some of the comments that you write back to these scammers are pretty funny. So I'm really excited that everybody, for what I see over here, are you're catching on and you know what a scammer is. I'm very proud of you, witches. You guys are truly wicked, and that really it makes me happy. It actually makes me happy because we're all wicked here. That's the whole point of being in this channel. We're wicked the point. So let's talk about that first question that somebody left in one of the comments in one of the videos. I think it was my last video. Uh, Why Raven, do you have any synthetic oil that you can uh, recommend? That was a question. I am assuming that the person was referring to any synthetic oil that I recommend for you guys to make your own oils. Needless to say, synthetic oils are oils that are being made by man to imitate a natural oil, right? An essential oil in this particular case. And this is what I have to say, which is for decades, botanicas have been selling oils for this and that and everything else that are 100% synthetic. So I don't know if it's the placebo effect. I don't know if it's collective energy. I don't know what it is. But for decades, Spanish brujas have been using oils that are 100% synthetic with great results. I'm very conflicted because me being a Spanish person and me having used these oils many times with great results, I don't know what to tell you. Personally, I like to use natural oils, essential oils. That's what I like to use. Let me tell you something. If you're Spanish, you know that one of the most terrible oils for you to use when you're cursing someone is what? You guys know what it is? Yeah, car oil. When you change the oil in your car, that burn oil, that dirty oil, that's a major ingredient in destruction oils. And it's used all the time in Spanish brujería. I don't have any substitutions for any oils. I don't have any synthetic oil that I can tell you, use this brand, use this brand because it's good. I can tell you this. I like to stick to natural. 
I like to use my essential oils and the cleaner, the better. But that's not to say again that for decades, witches have been using successfully 100% synthetic oils that are purchased in botanicas. I leave that up to you. I did a video a long time ago about India products and synthetic oils and all the oils that they're saying in botanicas. I invite for you to check that video out. I put the link in the description of the video, but I'm going to leave this up to you. Honestly, I'm going to leave this up to you because this is a topic and this is a conversation that could last hours but you know what experiment experiment rich experiment put your magic put your touch into everything and experiment that's why magic is so amazing let me know let me know what you think leave me some comments down below which is and let me know what you think about synthetic oils and oils for botanicas i would love to know now let's address the second question that i had in my inbox why raven what do you do when your husband does not like your witchcraft even worse he hates your witchcraft. He does not want you practicing witchcraft. Listen, which that happened not only to you, but it happens to a lot of people. All right. A lot of people. This is a very complicated situation. Now, having said that, you, and for lack of better words, sleep with, with the enemy. So you have a very direct contact with the person that is against your magic. Now, I know that I have altars and I have my books and I have my candles and we do rituals and whatnot. That may not be the case for you because you live with somebody that absolutely hates witchcraft. Listen, witch, you can do magic without any ingredients. You can do magic with your kitchen. You can cook with magical herbs and you can do chants and you can empower your food. The plate that you give this man to eat. It's a predicament when you are married with somebody that hates the craft, but you have the upper hand in the sense that you live with the person. If you're living with an abusive man and he does not believe in witchcraft and what you are asking me is what type of spells can you do to change this man, then I'm going to tell you that there is no magic out there that should justify you staying with an abusive husband. We cannot change the evil in others. So you need to choose, but, if it's just that he doesn't like witchcraft, listen, the most magical place in your house, which is your pantry. The most magical place in your house, which is your kitchen. And there's so many other things that you can do with your man to manipulate him, to soften him up, and to get him to like witchcraft a little bit more. Regardless, you do not need to be obvious when you're doing magic. You can do magic and when you're taking a shower. Unfortunately, this does happen to a lot of people. This is food for thought. And you know what? Ultimately, conversation. If you get to put him, put him in a honey jar, put him in a sugar box, maybe sweeten him up a little bit and then have a conversation with this guy. If he loves you, he should really be open to your beliefs and she sh he should respect your individuality and what you choose to believe and what you choose to do with your spiritual life or with your life. That's as long as it doesn't affect anybody else. That's just my belief. That's, that's just what I think. Okay. I'm not judging. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you suggestions from my perspective. Thank you. But which is, I have a super cool hex today and it's very necessary. And some of you guys are really going to thank me because I've been there and I'm pretty sure many of you guys have. How hard it is to save some money. Let's say we have some money in our wallet. We have some money in our purse because we need to pay a bill. And that's the only money that we've been saving and we put it there and we really need it. And somebody goes and steal it. They steal your money. How many of you guys are waitress and they take your tip? How many of you guys work based on tips and your own co-workers steal your own money? How disrespectful. This is the only money that you have. This is probably the food in your mouth. This is probably the food for your children. And this descarada, this descarado hijo de puta, comes and they steal your money. We're not going to tolerate this over here. And I'm going to share with you a spell. We're going to make that money tastes like shit. We're gonna make that money be the worst decision that this thief, this filthy, dirty thief has done against you. Now, having said that, which is, this is going to be for people like waitress, for people that actually have had money taken out of their purses. Like at work, it's happened to me. 
about $260 that I really needed many, many, many years ago to pay a lawyer. One of my coworkers went into my purse and took it. Took it. And I know who it was. Took it. And that happens to many of us. And with this spell, we are going to punish that evildoer. Now, I need you to gather justify anger. This is not going to be for petty. And this bird is going to have two parts. The second part of the video is going to be for you to help the universe get this person cut. And the way we're going to be doing this, we are going to make this person extremely attractive to the police or to management and, and human resources in the place where you work or whatever your case is. Make sure that you are justified, which do not be doing this for petty reasons. Make sure that you indeed have somebody that stole your money and by this person stealing your money, took food away from you or put you in a predicament for not having maybe the last money that you have to live your entire month. Okay, so for the first part of this spell, we're going to need a few things. You're gonna get a green candle, dark green candle, okay? And which is, if you do not have any color candles, white candles will suffice, right? Whenever you don't have any color candle, use white. You are going to need the picture of the evil door. Listen, I'm pretty sure that you have your phone with you at all times and somehow you can take a picture of this person. Otherwise, we have social media. A lot of people tell me I don't have a picture of the person. Listen, that is very hard not to have a picture of somebody nowadays. It's very hard. If you don't, then you don't right? But the point is that you need to have a link to the person that is stealing from you. Now, let's say we do not know who the person is. Let's say you put your purse in your break room and there's only three cats working with you and the money was gone. You know, it was one of your co-workers from those three cats that work with you, but you don't know exactly which one it is. Listen, then what you're going to put, don't be blaming people just because. So what you're going to do then is in the paper, you're going to write down enemy of mine. Thief that took, and you put in there the amount of money on this night, on this date, if you know the date, maybe you realize that the money was missing and you don't know where it went missing. So if you know the time, just put details in the picture. Enemy of mine that stole this this amount of money from my purse on this night, blah, 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 blah. You're going to put that over here in the back of the picture. Try to do a copy of the picture, not necessarily a real picture of the person so you can write down in the back. Make sure that you have a candle holder. You're going to need something pointy to carve your candle. And last, which is, this is something that I have in my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. You're going to need Hell's Devil's Oil. This nasty bad boy. Now, which is, I understand that you only have my oils if you live in the United States. If you do not live in the United States and then you cannot get my Hell's Devil's Oil, make sure that you purchase a hexing oil that is popular wherever it is that you live. Or make one with nasty stuff. Invent it. You make it. You come up with it. Okay? Stay wicked, witches. You gotta stay wicked. All right, so for the second part of this spell, we're going to need a brown candle. I don't have a brown candle. You can use a brown or a dark orange candle. This one right here. Again, you're gonna need something to put that candle. So a little candle holder. You're going to need a plate or a container where you can put this candle. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So I have these little Pyrex. You are going to need, my beautiful witch, some sugar. And last witches are going to add to that brand or dark orange candle some attraction oil that is going to be coming in the website pretty soon. That's one of the oils that are coming up in the website and so is a destruction oil. So I recommend for you to check the website out because there's some pretty nasty oils being added coming up very soon. All right, so let's get into the spell. Okay, which is, so the first thing that you're going to do in the back of the picture of the person, you are going to put the target's information like so-and-so that stole my money, might put the amount $150, $300, whatever it was, $50 on so-and-so date. 
All right, if you don't have that information, for whatever reason, you don't know the person, you don't know when it was, but somebody stole your money and you know it was from work or somebody's been stealing your tips at work, whatever it is, then you're going to put, let me write it here, enemy of mine, thief of my money, or whatever it is, if it's a thief of my tips, like be as precise as you can with this paper. And again, if you have the picture, then you're going to be detailed name, last name and all that stuff. If you do not have the picture, you don't know who it is, then you're going to put enemy of mine. Okay. That's how you refer to the person. That's it. And the candle with your sharp object, you are going to write the name and last name of the person. All right. Now, which is needless to say, if you don't know the name of this person, then you're going to put the same thing. Thief that sold my $250 or enemy of mine that sold my money. However, you want to describe that person. Now you're going to grab your Hell's Devil's oil. Wakey, wakey, Hell's Devil. Wake him up. If you have gloves, because this is something that people ask me all the time. If you feel like you need to use gloves, I will use gloves with this. Obviously, I am not doing this for anybody, so I am not using my gloves. Regardless, some of these oils have very <laughs> uh, nasty stuff, so it could be irritant. So it's up to you if you want to use your gloves. I suggest for you to do this with gloves on. Get some of your oil and you are going to anoint your candle with the Hell's Devil's oil. Another question that people ask, why Raven, where should you be anointing your candle up or down or whatnot? Listen, there's a lot of different techniques out there. All right. I'm going to rub this candle from the middle up and from the middle down. Okay. And from the middle down. Okay. Up and down. We're going to put it here. If you want to anchor this hex into this paper, you can use one of two oils. The attachment oil that I have in my website, or you can also use your Hell's Devil oil and you do a quick cooks in your paper. I like to do that. I really do. I like to do a quick cooks. A quick cooks is a Native American technique for you to ground and anchor the spell, the hex in here. All right. Gather your justify anger witch. You have to feel this when you are performing it. I'm going to do a little chant, but you do not have to use this little chant. If you want to come up with your own chant, then you're going to do that. I got my handy dandy electric lighter here that I love so much. Focus witch, get into it witch. This is the chant that you're going to chant. Rot and decay, money fades away, sickness overtake, your luck I break. Which is the money that this person took from you is going to taste like shit and is going to bring him so much misfortune, sickness, anxiety, sadness. He's going to feel so guilty that he took this money from you. It's really going to taste like shit, which is repeat your chant as many times as you need to repeat it, which just make sure that comes out of you and into here. Rot and decay. Money fades away. Sickness overtake. Your luck I break. Rot and decay. Money fades away. Sickness overtake. Your luck I break. Which, while you look at this candle burn, make sure that you visualize that thief. See that person having some serious money issues, some serious luck issue. Maybe being fired from work. Maybe being, maybe being revealed and embarrassed in front of everybody. Pure bad luck. Anguish. Guilt anxiety that's what this person is going to feel for being such a thief that is a, the worst transgression it is so ugly to be called a thief i hate hate thieves chant your chant and let this candle burn through which is once this candle is burned all the way through Grab the remnants, put it in a little baggie, and throw it in a dirty, nasty trash can in your work. 
If this was done at work, throw it at work. If you don't know when this happened, then throw it away wherever you want to dispose of it. Just throw it away away from your house. But if this is somebody that works with you, make sure that you throw this away at work. Okay, which is so let's start with the second part of this spell. This is for when you know the person, you know exactly who it was. And you want to attract either police to this person or management. If this is somebody that works with you and is stealing money at work, then you're going to put that sugar in there. Now, once you have that sugar in and the bowl in the container, let's put that to the side and let's prepare your candle. This is very important. Since we're going to make this person extremely attractive to the police, you need to write his name down in the candle again. If you don't know the name of the person, then enemy of mine, thief that stole, whatever. You put his name in there. And then you are going to cross this person, make three crosses. Turn it, turn it. You're going to make three crosses in the bottom of the candle, like right here, all across. All right, right here. All right. Now that you made the crosses, you're going to grab your attraction oil. So from bottom down. All right. This attraction oil is going to make this person very attractive. Like they can smell him to the cops. All right. Now imagine this being like a candy and the cops or management being like ants. For this, which is you need visualization. There's really no chant that you need to do unless you want to do your own chant. But it's extremely important that you visualize what is happening. As this candle is burning, visualize that message, that attraction, just going into the universe. Visualize what is going to happen. See police noticing. See the police noticing this person. See management noticing this person. Make sure that you watch this candle burn all the way through. Do not leave this candle unattended with sugar. When the candle is completely burned, you can grind in your mortar this sugar with the remnants of the candle and you are going to sprinkle this wherever that thief walks. In other words, if this is somebody that works with you, you're going to sprinkle this when that person walks. If you know who the person is, if you're able to sprinkle this in the person's shoes, even better. Please watch out for cameras. You know that there's many cameras out there at work. So be very mindful and be very smart. Other than that, which is, I wish you the best. That's it, witches. Thank you so very much again for being here with me yet another Monday. Remember that I am in Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you have any questions, then please make sure it's a question. I don't need to know the story of your life. You can email me that question at layerofthewitchayahoo.com. If you are interested in any of the products that I use in here today, including candles, visit my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. There's a lot of very interesting products in my website, so I strongly suggest for you to check my website, subscribe to my website, because I also have blogs that I like to share with you in there. You may and learn I think of too and I promise you my blogs are very short and very down to the point I don't like to talk a lot of babas like how we said in my island and that's it which is other than that which is it is always awesome talking to you I love being here with you every Monday make sure that you do your research and make sure that you study make sure that you stay smart but with all that research and with all that knowledge that you acquire, you must stay so very wicked. Bye.